Nah, that's my man and he loved me. Maybe he just got hacked. I was only in the wrong near the end, okay? For most part of it, I was justified to do what I did. These people are fine. <laughs> you can't be flipping a thousand kilometers away and you're just in it for bombs. Like, when are you gonna receive bombs? You yeah. can obviously not in a weird way, like, I'm, I'm, I'm still saved. <laughs> I'm still saved. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. This is to save me from tears. I'll give it to someone. <laughs> this feels so awkward. This feels so weird, but anyways. Hi, besties. I'm Amor, and I'd like to make a public declaration that I am officially the worst best friend known to mankind because who goes months weeks and weeks and more weeks without even speaking to their bestie to their so-called bestie like if you've given up on me you have every right all i ask is allow me to prove myself to you that i'm worthy of your love of your effort of your time just give me that much okay pick me Choose me. Love me. I don't deserve much. I don't expect much. But what I ask, give me your time. Let me show you that I want you. Nobody else. Nothing else. Okay? I'm really not going to go into why I haven't been here because there's actually a video about that coming soon. Um, yeah. But we're going to start on a light note i'm actually very excited for today's video because i'm going to be spilling the tea <laughs> that was not i swear i didn't plan i didn't plan that i didn't practice it but yeah i'm going to be spilling the tea on my hand dating horror story with receipts with receipts because i got you okay i got you so let's get into it i'm not even gonna ask y'all to subscribe if you subscribe thank you if you're not you know what allow me to prove myself that i'm worthy of your subscription but yeah no let's just get right into it honey okay okay you know what's crazy now i've actually recorded this video before with my friend shimmy because yeah she's very involved in the story um but i recorded it with my sister's phone earlier when i didn't have my phone so the sound and everything was just really hindering like wanting to post this you know because honestly the last the previous video i posted i don't know if it'll be deleted by the time i post this but i wasn't too happy with it because of the sound and, and stuff so i just didn't want a repeat of that you know if there's one thing that i want to make sure of, if not anything at least let me have some quality stuff you know but anyway let's get right into it okay so um we're going to call the main character of this ghost right because we're keeping up with this whole theme of horror story because that's exactly what it was a horror story but yeah we're going to call him ghost cool so <laughs> okay okay this starts um early this year like very early this year because i knew uh yeah i would have quite a lot of free time before i had to go to school i thought you know what i'm always hearing about like these dating apps and stuff I'm always watching catfish and all of that but i don't really know how it works you know so why not try i think it was even around february but late february into march but yeah it was early this year and i was like you know what why not try these data let's just see what it has to offer right cool so i got tinder and i got bumble right um it was really jav javaz it was javaz for real like javaz twin javaz like so <laughs> I didn't, I didn't even, I used my third name, I think, because I didn't want any link, you know, but then I used my pictures because I didn't want to be catfish and nobody. 
Um, so I used my own pictures and yeah, cool. Um, it, it, I was really not serious about it. I just wanted to see what it's about. If someone comes along, they come along, whatever. But I was not serious about it. So I went on the rise and I got it. I was excited for the first few days, like two days to be honest. Like I was very excited. Like, ah, I can't believe I'm on a dating app. This is crazy. You know, it's just curiosity. One thing I've learned about me myself this year, I am extremely curious and I, and I, I, I usually seek out that curiosity, which is going to kill me because I literally, I'm the cat that curiosity killed. For real, I'm actually the cat that curiosity killed because you'll even see in this video, like it'll get me in trouble, but also, like I'm not curious about dangerous things or snacks things or whatever. I'm just curious about certain things that are not really bad so i'm like why not let's see what it's about you know so i got it first thing to note i saw a lot of people that i know i saw a lot of people that i know which made me just laugh because i was judging them but i'm also on tinder at that time so it's like why are you judging them but i was really judging them i'm like you too I saw a lot of people that I know, it was just hilarious, right? But other than that, oh, it was just ghetto. Oh, ah, the ghetto! It was ghetto, it was not it, child. It was giving gold tooth, um, dust, dusty. Like, it was just not it. I'm trying to be as respectful as possible as well, but it was really the vibes were not the vibes it was not the vibes so uh, i didn't really see anyone that caught my eye their profile or their pictures it was really except the people that i know because some of the people that i know are people that i've had a crush on in the past like, oh he cute maybe i should you know see what's up <laughs> but i didn't because no i didn't want people i know to know that i'm on tinder even though they were probably gonna see me so but i use a different name so maybe they think that someone is catfishing using my pictures you know so so yeah uh after a while though like i said two three days i deleted it because it was just to get it for my liking i was like this is, this is not a child who so um, a month or two passes right and then i'm on tiktok the sunday i'm just scrolling and then i see this hot couple like like hot right <laughs> like they're hot and i think they were christians i'm not sure anyways beside the point they were a hot couple like they were not giving ghetto they were not giving dusty they were giving goals right <laughs> and they're talking about how they met on hinge blah 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 blah, blah. and i'm like wait a damn minute wait 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 a minute wait a damn minute <laughs> wait a damn minute i haven't tried hands i haven't tried hands so let's see what's let's see what's up with that like what's going on there you know cool i get hitched i do the same thing like with tinder i use i think there i used my second i don't know if i used my second or third name but i used another name other than amu because i don't want people that know me knowing that i'm on there even though it's like why am i embarrassed because honestly it's really whatever like if that's what you want to do do that you know anyway beside the point so i go on there do the same thing i use nice pictures obviously because i'm a pretty babe so <laughs> obviously i've got nice pictures but like i didn't really put my foot in it you know it's just like let's see what we can get those prompts let's answer them briefly cool as i'm on hand i'm like this is where it's at this is where it's at let me just drink my tea i'm so thirsty anyway anyway so i'm like i'm on hinge and I'm like this is where it's at like these these people are fine <laughs> i was really like damn where where have they been hiding like 
what? Obviously, you get those that are like, okay, not not your cup of tea, but you're like, okay, wait, wait a damn minute. If these people are gonna see my profile, I have to put my foot in a child. I literally went back. I think I sent Shimmy the screen the um um screen recording of it if i did i'm gonna insert it right here okay but i went back chat i put my foot in it i used nice pictures there was one picture of me i think in the states one picture of me at the gym one selfie one full body pic like i was making sure i wasn't catfishing because another thing right i never want people to fall in love with me without seeing my body okay i got a beautiful face that's fine my body is also pretty but it doesn't appeal to everybody and that's okay like if i'm not your cup of tea i'm not your cup of tea but one thing i'm gonna make sure is i am going to show you everything obviously not in a weird way like I'm, I'm, I'm still saved so <laughs> i'm still saved so i'm not gonna be doing no weird stuff but yeah like one full body you know one at a wedding one at the gym what like it was just listen in my profile they have like these different prompts that they give you to answer i was making sure i'm choosing the right ones you know asking the right questions saying the right things about me but not too much just enough for you to want to know more you know and then i also put like this voice note thing because they have a voice note prompt so that someone can hear your voice and i'm like listen i've got a good voice okay i'm joking i just i just sound very bubbly i'm i'm very sure of that so i'm like i want them to know that i'm bubbly you know <laughs> i put my foot in it okay that's what i did anyways i was unhinged i was scrolling did you start right no you don't start right there's a there's a a tick button and a cross button yeah i was gonna say swipe right side left but i think that's tinder i should know because i've been through them all but yeah so i'm there just taking crossing taking crossing all of that you know see good so i meet a few people not face to face just match there we go i match a few people uh talking to them nothing crazy though like it's still like just getting to know you type of vibes you know um after a day or two or three probably three because my hinge was hinge was that <laughs> hinge was him okay hinge was him with me um but after some time i was just like more chilled with it like i wasn't on there religiously i'd be on there if i'm on there i wasn't even taking and crossing anymore i was just checking who liked me and if i liked them type of thing um but if i if i was bored and i was just sitting i would but what i'm trying to get at is i was just really on some chill stuff i would post like some of the pictures of the gems that i matched with because but no i'm not gonna do that i'm not that type of person they probably want to be anonymous anyways but they were cute cool now we get to ghost okay so this one day like i said i was not going on there religiously anymore i was just checking like who potentially wants to match with me so then i go there's a few people whatever across ghost so i get in the ghost ghost is also like a strange not not too strange name but yeah let me give her a certain clues because honestly i don't even care i would even say his name because anyways his name is not a very common name like you think maybe colored or whatever but not really like you don't know it right so i come on his page and with his like you can leave a comment so he left a comment like um this like something along the lines of um this is long distance but we can make it work or even though you're far from me i can like i'm willing to put in the work type of thing like something along those lines so i was like so i check his profile first of all guys this was <laughs> this was at the time the most 
attractive man I'd ever personally encountered. You know, like maybe most attractive in the street, but he was fine. Okay, he was good looking. He was. I don't want to. Should I tell you my? Y'all are my besties, so I can tell you my type. I usually say this, so I don't really. I'm not often sticking to my type but i usually say like i have a type which is tall usually dark skin and broad shoulders i always say broad shoulders because i'm describing that i want quite a big guy like you don't have to be muscles big that's great as well don't get me wrong but just big like just giant you know um that's just always been my time thinking about it like my biological dad is more on that on that like he looks a lot like that so maybe it's like that but that's also weird to say because i'm not attracted to my biological dad that's just weird but maybe maybe i was over like my dad so that they can fill the role of my dad. no i'm joking i'm joking i'm totally joking but that's usually what i say however like i said i don't always stick to my type as long as i find them attractive and good mind all of that cool anyways we're talking about ghosts so i'm on his page this is a tall man you can tell like you know when you can tell a person is tall just from their pictures then you know they're tall this is a tall man he is broad he is a big okay he is big and i love that only thing he's light skinned but like, that's fine like who cares about complexion you know so uh oh my word stop shaking damn okay gotcha anyways um so i'm scrolling on his profile um it says that he's six foot five that's what it says right um which is believable because like i say when you are looking at pictures of a person and you can tell they tall, then they're tall, right? Like really tall. And he had videos on there. Um, <laughs> Y'all don't judge me, don't judge me, okay? But there was this other prompt that was like, what's your one goal in life, right? And he was like, to make it to heaven. And I was like, oh, he's a child of God. <laughs> No, because you be reaching. When when someone looks, the, when you want someone to be him, you're going to reach, bro. They're just going to say, thank God. And you'll think, damn, he loves God. He respects God. All of that. Like, you will literally reach. So, <laughs> he's like, to make a film. And I'm like, oh, maybe he's Christian. That's great. Um, and then I scroll, it says he lives in Johannesburg. Keep all of this in mind, okay? Because it's all going to matter. I'm not going to say other things, but I'm going to say what matters. So it says he lives in Johannesburg. Um, I'm not from Johannesburg, so it makes sense if he says the distance. But it's also like not that distance. Where I stay, it's like an hour drive to Johannesburg. So, but anyways. Um and then there's also a video there where he's just he just seems like a vibe and also his voice he doesn't have the really deep voices but it doesn't have a squeaky voice so someone just didn't listen but it's cool anyways anyways i spent too long describing this man anyways so that's that's the man oh and he has a connecting beer <laughs> he has a what a connecting beer now that's what i'm talking about <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm like, okay, let's see what he's about, you know? So then I match him, um, and then he takes, he immediately, he even takes first. Like, even though it was technically my turn, because Hinge has this thing where if the other person takes it first or matched you, once you match them, then it's your turn, then after you speak, it's their turn, blah, blah, blah. So even though it was my turn, he went and he spoke. And I was like, okay, he's re he really seems interested. He's very forthcoming, which is good. I like that. Um, and the fact that he had said, like, even though it's long distance, you know, we can make it work. I was like, you know what? Like, actually, I like that as well because you know that it won't be easy for me to be coming to show work every day. But, you know, 
So it was all of that. That was just like, okay, cute. I, I'm willing to see. So even though I was like, oh, he's cool, he's fun, he's this and that, I also am very logical about certain things. Um, and although my heart will be at play, my mind will be at play as well. So it's very hard to fool me. So for example, like I said with his um Go to make it to heaven. I was like, okay, okay, that means he's a child of God, blah, blah, blah. but I wasn't completely blinded and thinking, oh, this is man of God caused by God, man of the God's own heart. I still need to see within the way you interact and talk and how you do things if you really are a man of God or if it's just words, you know. So I'm actually grateful for that, that my mind is also always at work. Um, but yeah, so. So then we start talking, right? Then he sends a voice note, and this man has an American accent. And I'm like, wait a minute, this this guy has an American accent, like what? So I'm asking, like, where is he from? He says, nah, he's actually from America. So I'm a Cali guy. I plan on moving back to California. So yeah, I'm in the U.S. I know we're far away from each other, but I feel like it's more about communication, effort, and putting in the work. I'm definitely willing to do all three of those things. So um, I would love for us to take a leap of faith and see where it could take us, you know? So that's why he had said, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that's why he had said, even those long distance will make you work. So I was like, oh, okay, cool, he's from the States. But now I was thinking, and why does the stage have not been on his book? But you know what, it's fine. And thing is, because I heard his accent, I heard the way he speaks, and his name, like I said, was quite strange. Maybe could be a uh, Cape Town Khalid, but not really. Like it's very unusual in South Africa. And his accent was not giving I'm making it up. So I thought, okay, he's not it's not hard to believe that he's from the States. It's just hard to believe why he'd say I mean it's just hard to understand why he'd put Johannesburg on his profile, right? But I thought, okay, that's just a mental note. He's from the States. Cool. We keep on talking. He's really sweet. But there's also like this one thing about him that annoys me a little. But it's enough to, like, I can look past it. Like, the way he speaks, right, is, <laughs> it's fine. But uh, it just sounds like he's babying you. You see someone who's, like, love bombing you you know like someone who's smothering you the way he speaks just gives a little you're smothering me you're doing a little too much like we don't we can go a conversation without you having to compliment me every single sentence like without you being on me every single second you know we can just be cool you know we can just talk you don't have to like i like compliments don't get me wrong and you can compliment me here and there but if you're always doing it every second every second sentence you're complimenting me every second sentence you're just you're just being too much and you're already having pet names and stuff and i'm like bro relax like i think he had forgotten my name he was only calling me beautiful now which is like it's fine like down the road but we just got to know each other like just chill you know but he was a really sweet seemingly genuine guy so then that made me overlook it. And I was starting to think, oh my word, we're going to have a 90 day fiance type of um, just wedding, not wedding, but marriage basically. It was like, oh, it's gonna be this girl from SA who went to such and such. And then, you know, they met on Hinge and it was just so great. And he just came to South Africa and he just fell in love and he couldn't, so he proposed. And then she got to meet his family, you know, I was like, <laughs> I was thinking of that, I was really in my Delulu phase and I enjoyed it. So I was like, you know what? That's fine. That's my man. That's my man. So we keep on talking. The conversation is really good. Then mm, I prayed a dangerous prayer. So a little bit of a backstory. I have I have this habit, right, of starting to talk to someone. Um, and then I allow the smallest things to put me off them. I don't know why I do that, like detach de or, you know, like really quickly. Um, cause when I get attached, I get attached. Maybe that's why, but I really don't know. I don't want to diagnose it or anything, but I was just thinking, you know what? Like for example, okay, wait, no, I'm, I'm skipping. 
So I was thinking, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to actively, deliberately, and intentionally put in effort, time, like be intentional about this relationship. Especially because to me, this guy being from so far away and still saying like, I'm willing to make it work wherever, made me think, okay, that means he's in it for long term. Because you can't be flipping a thousand kilometers away and you're just in it for bombs. Like, when are you gonna receive bombs? You know? <laughs> like, that's not gonna happen. So for you to know that I'm this far away, yet you're still on some, like, I wanna really make this work forever, that shows me to some extent that there's some intentionality and you're not just thinking short term, you know, or you're not just thinking physical desires or whatever, right? Um, which it would have just been a last cause for him anyways because I don't be doing that but you know so then I thought okay so I'm also going to be intentional so I just prayed to God I was like Lord I'm going to be intentional about this one I don't want to be going around um talking to different men all the time like oh it's so draining <laughs> not that I'll be doing that and stuff like just, just a hypothetical you know so I was just thinking I, I think I'm going to be intentional about this, Lord. So um, show me if I shouldn't. Show me if I should. Um, but I'm deciding, like, even the littlest of aches, like, for example, the feeling smothered, I'm going to look past it. Like, even when there's these aches that I feel or whatever, I'm going to look past such because I'm going to want to make this work. Um, and, but though I was also thinking, like, if it's going to be long term, this long that's a concern of the past. One thing, I do not want to live in the States. Like, no, not me. Not me. You know, maybe short term. But, anyways, that was too, too forward thinking, anyways. I wasn't too much into that right now. I was just saying, I'm going to be intentional about this. You know, because I've always said, like, I don't mind long distance. It's just others that mind it. And that's fine. Like, that's okay but i don't mind it you know so it wouldn't really be a problem but actually be good we, we're not seeing each other all the time anyways anyway so i prayed that prayer this was i think about the first or second day after we started talking then he asked for my numbers right um so that we can talk on whatsapp i gave it to him when he texted me it was literally a number from the states which also confirmed where he's from right so now when we were talking on whatsapp i asked some of the red flaggy things that i noticed so i asked him um why does it say johannesburg on your profile if you're actually from wherever you're from right and he says no um the reason is because he likes south african girls even his previous ex is a south african girl right and i'm like i don't know how to feel about that initially listen everyone has their preferences and i don't hate like oh cha i'm showing y'all the looks <laughs> anyways everyone has their preferences and that's okay right but if you like south african girls like i feel like preferences are based on stereotypes like if i say i like american guys for example that would mean that i like maybe tall men with connecting beards <laughs> tall men with connecting beards um like i don't know flipping basketball players i don't know but it would be based on a certain stereotype and what's the stereotype about south african girls they got bunda right they got bum and i don't got no bum like i got something like it was like some scrapes off of everyone and just came to me i'm fine with my bum okay i'm okay that i don't got the biggest gap in the world but i don't got it so if you like south african girls based on the stereotype that's not me brother like that's not me one thing i really don't want i don't want people to assume i'm a way that i'm not to assume i look a way that i don't like for example i don't want people assuming i'm a petite babe because that is not what i am like if that's if that's what you thought i was 
no honey that's not what i am i'm not i'm not a big girl but i'm not a petite girl i'm just somewhere there in the middle you know like so it's that i don't want someone thinking i've got i just i don't want i'd rather actually you think i look worse than i do even though i generally look good because i look good okay but i don't know i just don't like disappointment like i have a crippling fear of disappointing people like regardless of the scale and how big it is how small it is you know so i was like i hope this this chain doesn't think i got bomb because i don't but anyway i let that slide a little bit and then we kept on talking told me about his family um and then uh okay so the next day was going to be a day there, there used to be this one day that i take i'm not on socials i'm not on anything it's sort of like a um it's sort of like a detox right so um there was this one day that like regardless so i let him know that okay on this day i'm not gonna be my phone but the next day i will and he was very understanding he was like yeah i understand y'all have little today he was just every any chance he'd get he'd try and make sure i know that he knows stuff about south africa I'm like okay whatever although lodging was literally not the reason but that's fine um so then i i, I didn't talk to him that day then comes the next day after that so now we're basically on day number four right we're talking so i come back to a message he had sent that i hadn't read um that was like uh please send me more of your pictures i'll send you mine which is like it's not crazy for people to do because like that's what you do they send you their pictures you send them yours you guys see each other but not weird pictures and he didn't give the sense that he's looking for explicit pictures like just general pictures so i did that um i sent a few for my instagram because i didn't have a lot for my instagram on my page on my hinge page because i didn't want people to link me okay i didn't want i i just didn't want it so i sent him he had already sent his some of his so i sent some of mine then we continued talking okay okay this is important cool so we continue talking right and it's fun it's good um i went to the gym came back we're still talking i had to get ready for work uh so i tell him yeah um let me quickly get ready for work i'll answer you in about 30 minutes right cool i do that i even come back earlier because now i'm walking to work work was like literally next door so i was walking to work then he had sent a question that i was about to answer right i was sending a voice note anyone who knows me knows that i really love sending voice notes one minute 10 minute 20 50 an hour voice notes i will send right so he had sent he had asked me a question and i was about to answer it by a voice note so as i'm answering it so i'm answering it i'm walking as i'm answering it and walking um Ghost has deleted this message. Ghost has deleted this message. Ghost has deleted this message. I'm like, wait a damn minute. What, what's going on? So I delete the voice note that I'm about to make. And I'm, I send question marks. And it's one tick. I'm like, wait a damn minute. What's happening here? I scroll down. This weird ass, bum ass boy has deleted all his, all his pictures. All of them, De not pictures, man, messages, including the pictures. He deleted everything. That is so weird. That is so weird. That is so weird. Firstly, if you want to ghost someone, you don't need to delete pictures. All you need to do is block them, really, or just stop responding. It's really as simple as that. And my red receipts are off, so I will not see whether you left me on red or not. Like, that's all you need to do. It's literally as simple as that, number one. Number two, why you did like what happened? Because we weren't talking about anything controversial. I think we had had a disagreement earlier, but it was just a disagreement on opinion and nothing. It was like, what's your favorite ice cream? Mine is this, mine's that. Oh, okay. That type of disagreement. It wasn't that, but it was that type of disagreement. So I can't need, there's literally no need to do all of that. You being extra weird, bro. Like, and I. If it was, let's say, if he's one of them petty boys that, like, when you don't answer them after 10 minutes, they delete their messages. 
I had literally just told you that I'm going to be um i'm going to get ready for work 30 minutes and then i'll come back so it's like that's not also valid so i'm thinking like what's happening what's that then i'm thinking nah that's my man and he loved me maybe he just got hacked like honestly <laughs> maybe he just got hacked because there's no way okay there's no way that this is happening so i'm like i go on hinge and he unmatched me. He unmatched me on hinge. So this Jen knows what he's doing. Like, no. Maybe, maybe his phone like switch, like maybe it died now. Yeah? And then when it dies, like it deletes all the messages. Cause that happens like my phone. No, like generally. Like your phone dies and then deletes all the messages. You see when people post like send me a last message type of thing maybe that happened because ain't no way this is happening right cool i'm still confused i'm like what i'm even rereading our text i'm like okay what could have made you do that if you are switching up and there's literally nothing so i'm thinking nah maybe the only reason is really that he's going down like there's no other reason right and um the pictures i sent like they weren't explicit you see if i sent not i never send explicit pictures but if i sent explicit pictures and then you do that then i'm like damn this gen just wanted to get my pictures and did like that would have been a more reasonable explanation for this i sent ordinary pictures like no there was no catfishing i never catfish like i said i never want people to expect more than they're getting so i rarely use filters all of that like i try and stay clear so like it doesn't make sense the conversation oh my god what's happening so now i'm just annoyed so i go on imessage because i'm thinking this probably thinks that i don't got an iphone because i'm some kid in africa right which is like there's nothing wrong if you don't have an iphone but i'm like i've got it so i can actually message him and be like what's up so then i go on iMessage and i write a message on some like you're weird you didn't have to do all of that like you're just being shady no i didn't say you're weird i just said like if there was a disagreement or you feel like you're not feeling this anymore that's fine but all you needed to do was just talk and say that i'm not feeling this anymore or nah you know because also he was quite older than he was 25 i'm 19 so it's not that big of a difference but it could be for some other people and that's fine i'm okay with that right but just voice it out because i'm a big girl i can understand you get me so but also that conversation happened like even the day before i left whatsapp for some i mean i the day before um i detoxed so if he wanted to dip he could have dipped then like he was already gonna dip the day i detoxed whatsapp and not and ghost me basically so if i text him he wasn't gonna respond but the fact that after that he still he was texting still responding still initiating conversation he just showed so much interest only to show none at all so i'm like you could have just said like you don't have to be on some weird stuff so you know what over it make sure you delete all my pictures like sayonara <laughs> sayonara 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 okay um and i sent that and then like i think i sent a message before that and said like what's going on and then i sent that and then one of those messages he, like he they didn't get delivered meaning after seeing the first one he blocked so i'm like cool whatever then i was still i was so shocked i told all my friends i first told shumi um for some time and then like a month later or two my friends came to sleep over my house so i was telling them about it blah, blah, blah. my friends was like like they all had so many different scenarios about it like one was like maybe he's a catfish and i'm just thinking no i don't think i don't know and one was like maybe he was just um intimidated by the fact that i'm young and working and this and that because i don't think he was working i don't know i don't know but i don't want to take out too much of his business but i don't know and then i my theory was maybe he has a girlfriend he actually has a girlfriend in real life 
um because people do this which is so weird like they'll have a girlfriend in real life and then go online and have a, an entirely different relationship with someone else so maybe that's the whole situation and either his girlfriend caught him out or he was about to get caught out or whatever you know so cool didn't think about it for a while i just left it at that i was like weird ass boy oh yeah after that also i was so mad after that situation like i was heated not because i really liked them because come on it was four days like i was the lulu show but i wasn't crazy about him because i didn't know him that well you know but i was just annoyed that oh uh, it feels like i wasted four days of my life you know and from that day i was like you know what? i'm not gonna be dating men i'm not gonna be talking to men for the next five years like i'm just focusing on my grind and i made a whole list and i might just put it right there and tell y'all the list but i made a whole list of why i'm not gonna be on guys and did i listen no no i didn't because i i did i mean i did live by it for some time and then i stopped when stuff in my life went south and things were just shaky uh yeah that's probably the next thing that i'll be telling you about my life going south because that's a that's a different one i just didn't start by crying i just didn't want to start by crying you know um but this story is about to end i promise you so yeah i made that list i didn't follow it but but i did follow it for most time i only stopped following it when my life started feeling like a mess and i was like Ooh, child i need some validation so screw it let me find it from me and that's a bad decision i'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all and act like i'm this saint because i'm not but i can admit when i've made bad decisions and one of them is that um yeah yeah but that's a story for another day oh so um don't think about him don't talk about him for some time and then like about three months later or something right oh okay no sorry so about three months later i don't know i'm talking to shumi like just generally i don't know what brought us to this but then i think i had put his i refound his numbers or something on my phone and then we were talking about it and I put it on True Caller, and True Caller gave me his name and surname. And I was like, I didn't have his surname before. I literally went, I searched him on Instagram. I searched all the ghost, ghost man, ghost, um, let's give him a surname, ghost horror. Like, I don't know. Let's say his surname is horror, his name is ghost. I literally went down all the ghost horrors on Instagram. <laughs> it was crazy. And then I was still not settled because I was like, like a part of me, like I said, back to the curiosity thing. I get too curious for my own good. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. So a part of me still wanted to know, like, what's this man's business about? That was so weird. Like, why do you do that? I don't even want to like start talking to him again now over it. I just want to know why he did that, right? So <laughs> So I did that, couldn't find it. I literally went on the web. I searched his numbers through the web. I found another like um, platform where you can search people's numbers. Found his name, his surname, his sister's name. He had he had siblings. So I found his sister's name. I think I found his parents' names. And I could find more. I could have found where he works um why he that his social all of that i could have found it but then i had to pay some fee and i don't want i felt like nah that's that's reaching so then i go i went to my friend and i did something i'm not no, let me not lie i'm not embarrassed about it but i'm also not like the proudest about it but I gave my friend his numbers and we're like let's see what's up so my friend started talking to him, right? Like, made up some lie, like, oh, sorry, um, I thought I was um, talking to such and such. And he was like, oh, that's a South African number. I think another theory I have, I think this guy has some fetish of some sort 
for South African girls. Like honestly, because he's so obsessed with South African girls. Because later on, a, a different friend of mine got hinged, right, for her own reasons. And she found him on there and he was on some like, yeah, if you're South African, hit me up. Like, um, give me advice for traveling to South Africa. So I think he's got some weird obsession with South African girls. But, um, yeah, so, uh, so my, this other friend, um, who I, whose number was I gave to Cabbage and let's call her, um, Casper. Let's just call her Casper. So my friend Casper, God, I sent my friend Casper ghost numbers. Casper started texting ghost and then ghost was like, who's this right and then casper was like no i thought it was this this person but it's actually blah 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 then ghost wanted to continue speaking to casper that's fine whatever because we're trying to get to the bottom of it then ghost wanted casper's pictures so i was like you know what let's send ghost pictures of someone who i think is in the range of his type but someone we know so that if we're catfishing him it's not too it's not too far you know from from the borders so <laughs> so we found someone that we both know right casper and i and we sent ghost the pictures and then ghost wanted to video call and he's like no what are we gonna do so then casper's like no I'm, I'm still in the shower like give me a few minutes then ghost did what he does and he went and he deleted his his um messages and then went ghost literally so my crazy ass i got my other friend involved and i was like nah we getting to the bottom of this tonight okay tonight so i got my other friend and i <laughs> i gave that friend ghost numbers and then that friend is taking the ghost like um you know like but now that friend so go that friend um let's call a friend b you know for the sake of this so friend b takes ghost as casper as the girl casper was catfishing ghost to be right and it's like you are some weird Jen, why are you doing all this? And he's like, I'm weird. You're the one with the different numbers, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, he doesn't know that I'm the mastermind behind all this. I'm the one behind all this. And then, um, my friend, friend B and Ghost are just going back and forth, back and forth. And then he ends up doing the same thing because he's a weird, he's just a weird Jen. That's what he is. And then I get my other friend, my other friend to hit him up. And then we just, <laughs> so we just, at the end, what's crazy, the gag is at the end, I look like the crazy one. Because I literally now have three people involved <laughs> in this thing. Like, just trying to get to the bottom of it, of why he acts the way he acts. The way you act. It's the way you act. It's the way you act. But, to keep the long story short, um, he was a weirdo. He, I think, fetishizes and does snap things. I think. Yeah, because my, the last friend ended up going on a call with him and he was being weird, to say the least. So, yeah, that's the story of Ghost. This is why. What's the lesson behind this? Let's, please tell me, like, comment down below what you think the lesson from this is. Um, I don't know like th there's a bunch of lessons you can take from this but it's whatever you decide to take this is honestly just the story to tell y'all that I can be crazy sometimes but not always okay I can be the one in the wrong but I was only in the wrong near the end okay for most part of it I was justified to do what I did okay so period I I, I don't want to hear nothing else this video is extremely long it's longer than I thought it would be but it's just an introduction to let y'all know that I'm back. I'm back. And I'm going to be pushing. And I'm very excited slash nervous to show y'all the next video after this one. But it's going to be good.
that's all I'm gonna say and I'm going to earn your love and your trust again okay but if you've made it this far thank you so much for making this far um yeah comment down below your thoughts if you want to judge me you're allowed to judge me okay you you are so <laughs> just comment down below your thoughts and everything and let's talk let's have a conversation but other than that see you next time bye